it's actually been a very long time since I played episode 4, and then episode 5 came out, never got to it, I'm getting it to it now, which is months beyond, like, beyond when it came out, so, like, there's been a lot of updates, they changed things, it should hopefully be a pretty perfect game, no glitches or anything, so we'll just go enjoy ourselves. I think the music is still turned off Previously because on I Life had is Strange. problems with, um, What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody. Except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. I don't remember that part. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! <sighs> Ethan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? I wish I could have saved her. Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look how- What the fuck? Right, Chloe's dead now. Man, my emotions are being pulled out of me already. Fuck. I know, choose wisely, I've already made mistakes. And now we wake up to Mr. Jefferson. It's probably supposed to be music. Don't worry, I'll add some in. I just I just wish when they make games for the sake of YouTubers that they make sure it's non-copyrighted music. I know they're trying to help support some bands out there and stuff, but it's just it gets tough when people want to monetize their videos. Unless, of course, you buy uh, a license from them, like Monster Cat. You can buy, I think, for $15 a lifetime license or something like that, or for five years, I can't remember. Polarized. So we're duct taped to a chair. Passed out. For some reason, I thought we were going to see Chloe on the ground there. Just in case, I put on my lucky bracelet. I call it lucky now. Are we moving? Okay, we're moving. She's awake. Chloe? I'm sorry, but Chloe's dead. What? Where? It's a dark room. Thunder outside. That's not a good sign. Is anybody out there? Please help! Oh, I forgot how this works. Detach. Mm. 
it might be less painful help! for a girl, but somebody help me! But it would be on skin. But for guys, like we have a lot of hair, so. <laughs> <clears throat> These straps are hurt. I can imagine. The left foot, was it? <laughs> what you saying? Oh. Okay. I was gonna say, you're saying detached, but. Finally, I'm free. <laughs> Almost. Only 25% free, I'm afraid. Uh. Pull, look. <laughs> Good. Uh, photo, syringe. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. What about the photo? I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. What, did he pose us or something? Is, is there oh god what a, left what left me, but my left mouse button to focus on the photo yeah oh I promised I would never go back in time like this again but this is the only way use ad keys and left mouse button until you find the sweet spot okay so we gotta do this weird thing again This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! He doesn't sound the same as in school. Max! You fucked up my shot! Dude, this is crazy. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. Did a weird waddle. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. 
Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Uh. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. broke those vials when I kicked the trolley. Older. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. What's that? Oh, going towards the item. Oh. Blurry. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Oh. No. That picture isn't going to help. And I can't go through all that again. I won't. Okay, okay. Just wanted to look. Oh. This might work. Okay. Wanted to look at the camera. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. As simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now and don't get me started on your late partner i had enough of those faux punk sluts in my seattle days You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. 
Artists don't drive teenagers to suicide for any bullshit muse. You trained Nathan to drug Kate, to take photos of her. That's why she's dead. Which makes me sad, Max. I will miss her. Kate had such a strong spirit, it was very satisfying to break it down. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Did he use Nathan? Or is Nath did Nathan start this? Because he mentioned something about Nathan not being as good as him. Hmm. I'm probably making the wrong decision here, but... You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. Okay, so I became a sort right. of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. I guess he was like unexperienced when he gave her the drug, I guess. Or maybe he wanted to kill someone, or maybe he wanted to kill Rachel for a specific reason. But I probably the first thing that I said. Um, I think I already know why Rachel, but Chloe and Rachel. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. He is anyway, a psychopath. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. That's crazy. <sighs> I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh, now this one. This is purity personified. 
I go to the diary? The t tab tab. This is not the diary. Is it? Oh shit. Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Oh, I see. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Is that a good thing that you left the diary there for us? Space to skip. Oh, and then we go into that picture, do we? Oh, we can go before all this happened. Come on. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane That's week. Good. So we're back at the beginning. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. Portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Shit. <laughs> um... I believe it's this. The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously. Max has read them. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artwork. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I was sure someone went. I have to warn David uh -huh, about Jefferson in the dark room. I hope I still love photography when this is done. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? This diary literally saved my life. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I've got a ton of Blackwell brochures, so I hope David's number is in there. Okay. So let's look in there. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Okay, we gotta go through it. Jefferson. Okay, so this first thing is Mark. Um, Found you. Contacts. 
Oh yeah, David. That's right. Okay, five 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 six thirty eight two four three. I didn't need to do that. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. I swear it looked like we just deleted the message. The past was in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? You might be dying. It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. Oh, Victoria. We could have been friends. My phone is dead and I'm bored. Time to bust out my... What? <laughs> okay. Enough of this. My phone is dead and I'm bored. Time to bust out my... Poesy? Yeah, that's what I thought it said. Okay. Uh, why did I give up the word for the image? Because I suck. But Mark Jefferson rules. Everybody in here loves him. But he only seems to care about Max. Yeah. I want to I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. Envy is a sin, Vic. Get over yourself. Hmm. Interesting. This fancy camera does not give you any extra talent, Victoria. Or excuses. You will not hurt Kate Marsh this time. Fifty-three hundred dollar camera. I have one that I think was three hundred dollars. It takes really good shots, but video is so it's 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 okay. Um. Okay, yeah, Kate. Kate's alive. Kate's alive. Ooh. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate. Listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. That's nice. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Okay, well, I'm glad things are... We're trying to change the, the past. Okay, I think we need to get out of here. Victoria. I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. I see right through your bullshit, Jefferson. Everybody else will too. So if we... Do we have to give the photo, or what happens if we don't give the photo? Fuck it, I'm gonna give the photo. It's this camera over there. Can't look at the camera. I'd like to bust this up right now. Oh, okay. I still feel like the lighthouse is calling out to me. Hmm. Well, it certainly is a sign of something. There's still some beauty left in Arcadia Bay. Okay, I. <clears throat> it's just like I don't want to miss anything, so I'm pretty much looking at everything. But whatever. Mr. Jefferson. We need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't. Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. 
You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, thanks for the photo and... Maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Okay. <laughs> that has kind of escalated quickly. Let me out the f*** out of here.